Uh, Mr. R.K. Upadhyay, I'm coming to you first. Does it surprise you the manner in which the political class has defended this year? Well, I think, uh, okay, before uh, talking about the political parties, the political leaders, people are asking a very big question as to where is the director of police, Mr. Praveen Sood? I mean, he's the head of the police uh, department, and why has he not even gone to that place six days since the FIR was filed? And this is a very serious case where it is incumbent upon him to take immediate action. He should have been there on the spot, on the spot and directing the you know, investigation. Hmm. He should have ensured that the accused were taken into custody, questioned, and if necessary, arrested. I mean, he is just gone into hiding. But, but so Mr. Madhya, the know, fact the, the fact the, that the DGP has gone into hiding yeah, only it, shows it only shows the complicity of the political class. DGP yes. cannot go into hiding unless the political class tells him to do so. You see, there are multiple uh, observations of the Supreme Court where it is very clearly said that the DGP has to take independent decisions. Why is he not acting on this? I mean, you see, the, he should not be waiting for the political leaders to give him directions. Because this is a very serious Foxcore case mm. in which he is, it is incumbent upon him to act upon an FIR. Mm. The FIR was filed last Friday, which means six days have gone by. And these two poor kids, we don't know uh, how safe they are now. Mm. They're still in that vicinity of that uh, mud. Mm. And are they really safe with all this, uh, uh, you know, the influential people going around? Mm. And as far as the question of the political parties are concerned, it's a very, very sad state of affairs. I mean, you know, forget about the BJP, it's a ruling party, and they are the major culprits. But what about Congress and JDS? Exactly. Why are yes. they keeping quiet? Why are they keeping quiet? And they make, they make a lot of they make a lot of noise on any other political issue in the state of Karnataka. Now, this is an issue which is about the complaint of two minor girls. Whether the incident happened or not, a court of law and investigation can decide. But when the basic due process is not followed, Dr. Lubna Kamal. How can we even ensure that the victims get any kind of justice? And let's forget justice. Even a basic proper investigation can happen when the medical examination of the key accused has not happened so far. See, these are babies. These are really influential people. I'll tell you of a case uh, of Lucknow. Uh, a nursing student was raped on 6th of July. And I came to know of this uh, today itself. And uh, the FIR got registered after so much of, uh, you know, um, uh, so much of pressure from so many people. Why? Because he was just a simple boy whose father was just a government servant. So he, he, their FIR was not uh, registered. The boy was arrested after a month. And from last one month, uh, the whole of August, the, the negotiations have been uh, going on. Intimidation is uh, constantly there and they are just you know the the, uh, the boy uh, is jailed so much of pressure so much of political pressure uh, police didn't do anything at all so uh, i mean when uh, a simple boy uh, a simple 25 year old boy who's nothing at all when he can evade you know arrest when he can uh, escape all of this uh, these things uh, how can you ex uh, expect justice uh, for these poor girls uh, when they are fighting against uh, such influential people? Mm -hmm. I was on another channel just a few days back on this An Ankita's case of Jharkhand and all what the all the political biggies were there mm -hmm. and all what they were doing was pulling each other's legs. JMM was uh, uh, blaming the BJP, they were blaming Congress and everyone was blaming uh, everyone else mm -hmm. and see now uh, you pointed out very rightly that the everyone is quiet why mm -hmm. because that is a very influential uh, this thing institution and you know the, uh, uh, the, the, the arm of law the arm of law and the manner in which the constitution of this country is drafted is actually to make sure that these kind of inequalities and inequities in society that can be bridged. The process no. of law is the same for everyone, but yes, the implementation lies with the executive, with the officers, and with the politicians. And that's exactly it, Dr. Lubna Kamal, which is not happening right now. I filed, I filed a case uh, of molestation uh, in 2012, and uh, it has been 10 years, nothing has happened. I take your point. I take your point. I Rahul Ishwar, I'm coming to you. I'm Rahul, I'm coming to you. Rahul, I'm coming to you. Um, I'm saying this with much respect to the most all religious organizations in our country, especially our Mats and uh, the Hindu faith organizations. They form a very important part 
of our culture, the Sanatan Dharma, and the manner in which our tradition and our ethos have been kept alive. But when these kind of uh, allegations emerge, and it has happened in the past as well, against many influential seers, uh, the, the requirement under law, the requirement under constitution is that the due process must be followed. That's not happening in this case, Rahul. Two points. One, first of all, thank you for your sensitivity and uh, beautifully articulated as you asked. Thank mm. you for that. Second mm. point, please remember, ma'am, it's a very sensitive case. The reason being, not only really because he's a so-called God man, but he's a good man with great proven track record, credentials, but that doesn't absolve him of any crime. But the only doubt here is there are very genuine doubts regarding a power tussle inside the ashram for a very long time. Please remember, this is not the usual Hindu Khatreheme conspiracy theory where we blame our Christian Muslim brothers. No, there is a power struggle that has been growing inside the temple. And this particular Basavaraj has been trying to implicate the Sami for a long period of time. This is in the public knowledge. This is in the knowledge of the, all the people who are with them. You know, unfortunately, when Pokso came, everyone clapped. We all supported. But unfortunately, we have seen Pokso being grossly misused. Please remember, it is not the Swami versus two kids, but it is Swami versus those people who are using these kids, using them to tutor them to give statements. Rahul, Years have passed. Rahul, I, 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 I said in the beginning that I have a lot of respect for the Mats and the manner in which various Hindu organizations work in the country. That's aside the point. But I can also tell you something as a woman, that however good or bad a man may be in the public domain, however noble few men may appear in their public conduct that doesn't tell us anything about their character. There are various social movements in this country including the recent Me Too movement where a lot of people with impeccable professional dignity, uh, dignity were actually people who were harassing a lot of women for a very long time. So, allegedly. however, how, allegedly, 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 uh, in some cases, there were some certain defamation cases that could not be proved in a court of law. True. But, but I do, but I do believe, I do believe that when a woman comes out and gives her testimony, she does it with a lot of risk. It's not easy to come out with these stories. Absolutely. So, so while, no, 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 one thing, one thing, uh, Rahul, Rahul. So, when you give a certain kind of benefit of a doubt to the seer, also be sensitive about the cause of women. Absolutely, yes. But please, can I tell a live example? Just mm. two months back, Ramachandra Tiwari of Kendriya Vidyalaya was in jail. He was a teacher, was in jail for seven years. A plus two student alleged him to have raped her, impregnated her and then made her avon. After seven years, maybe due to COVID and all, court having detailed scientific inquiry found out that the girl was neither raped nor was there a pregnancy, neither was abortion done. It was some, you know, you, uh, issue in the uh, school that really, you know, went ahead and filed this. And a court recently went on to say that had there not been a CCTV in the school, at least eight members of schools would have gone through prosecution by this. But mm. CCTV saved these teachers because it can be proved that mm. such a thing never happened. Yes, mm. we are totally with the woman. Most people definitely tell the truth. But at the same point of time, there are some people who cunningly misuse these children and the woman to take out revenge, to take out their revenge. Because everyone knows when so, a woman or so a child me, takes them.